we also have a pencil tool. Now we've got it right here next to the scrubber. Here's our pencil tool. Now we can use it in MIDI as well. See this? But when I go to MIDI, I can touch a note just to find what that note is. Oh, that note's there. That's that note. That's that note. What's this one here? Good. And this one here is a... Ah. Okay. I want to write it here. Or here. If I hold it down. See that? I can hold it down and make it long. Or shorten it back up. Shorten it back up here. Boop, 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 boop. Right there. And we can take this pencil tool and drag it out. That's kind of cool like that. And then, so you can see what happens. Without even using the trimmer, our pencil tool brings a trimmer in, see? On either end. So the pencil tool can act somewhat like the smart tool for MIDI. But just meant I can just like select the sound, I can trim that sound, and I can also add a sound in. Now, let's go back up here. We also can use a pencil tool with a WAV file. You know, that's the uh, a region. Here's a region right here. I'd say I want to check this region out. And I'm not too sure about this region right now. I'm going to go right up here and just get a hand real quick and click on this region right here. That way I've selected it. And then I'll use a zoomer tool right here and I'm just going to zoom out, see what's up with this region. See, once I zoom out, it keeps right where that region I selected. It's right there, still in the main viewer. Now, it uh, depends on how far I go here, but I want to get it really to the sample level. There we go. Now, when you see this single line here, that's the sample level. Right here is the waveform. Right there is the sample level of this particular sound. See that? And so I can see this particular sound. It's the level when I go right here to my tool, and now I've got my pencil. See, now your pencil comes into view. Here it's a ghost. You can't even see it's ghost out. But once you get to the sample level and you pick the uh, region you want to edit, you can do it right here. And so I can, let's say for example, maybe want to make this line a little longer down here like this. And by doing so, I may be changing that sound to be a little stronger and hit when it first comes in. Now, be careful with your pencil tool. Take your time. Um, keep a copy of the main file. Read about it more in your manual. But this way, if you mess with a pencil tool, you don't want to do too many things. You just want to correct some maybe pops and clicks that might happen and then just smooth them out. It's important to note, because you don't want to mess up the tracks you're already making up. Just to correct one thing, you might make a real big mess. Let's be careful of that. And go back out, use my zoomer tool again, and I could zoom right back to the level that before, making it much easier. Of course, your zoomer tool's right here, and you can just drag it along there, and you're good to go. And that's our pencil tool.